about dark. I did not see the big one, but I saw a doe and a fawn and a really nice 11 border. Got me a little intel. I think I'm gonna come back in the morning and see what happens. But man, that was exciting. That's a really big buck. I mean, that dang 11, I'd probably shoot him if he walked by. And I might, I might know where to kill him now. Well, it's January 9th. Uh, we finally got a cold front running in. Late season has basically been a major struggle, uh, mostly because of weather. I mean, the past two, three weeks, rain every day and highs in 75, 80 range. So it's been killing us. Uh, I've actually seen the number one buck I've been chasing all year. I've seen him twice in the last week and he was shot late October and that made him shed his antlers early. So decided not to take him. I already found one antler, but with all the flooding, I don't know, I don't think I'd be able to find another one. So figured I'd let him go and see what he looks like next year. But I've got a deer coming in on a pattern like killable. But the um, problem is I fell off a ladder a couple weeks ago painting and uh, broke my wrist or fractured my wrist. So I'm really not sure if I can shoot my bow or not. And the property that buck's on is a bow only. I don't have permission to rifle hunt it. So, and I don't have a crossbow. So the question remains is can I shoot my bow with this wrist brace on? If I can, then I can go hunt that buck. Mm. Well, I accidentally pressed the trigger that time. No, I didn't. My no, dang release tore up. Try that again. This is the release better not be tearing. Ow. Mm. Shooting about right, just a touch to the left, maybe an inch to the left. So I can live with that. I ain't gonna shoot it no more. I haven't shot it in a few weeks, but that hurt. <laughs> I got this spot last year, knocked on some doors and got permission to hunt it. It's uh, just a block of woods surrounded by a neighborhood, but the landowner's house is not really a good access point. So I knocked on another door and uh, got permission to park here and come in the back side. So what I'm gonna do is uh, get changed real quick in my car and get in the woods um, before any neighbors see me. Sometimes, you know, if you got one neighbor that don't want somebody hunting back there or something, then you'll lose permission just because the landowner is not worth dealing with their neighbor being mad at them or whatever, so. I don't want to make turkey noises if the leaves are this crunchy, but I doubt if these deers ever heard a turkey. Just jumped my doe, bedding down maybe 50 centimeters on my tree. Facebook just told me I killed a buck on this same ridge this day last year.
Well, I saw four does, but I didn't see the buck I was after, so maybe we'll have better luck next time. Uh, had to run some deer out at dark, made some owl noises and just ease down, but I don't know. He was in there this morning, yesterday morning, and yesterday afternoon, so maybe it was his friend. Uh, he's got a button head he's been running with. Maybe it was him I saw running off. Maybe I spooked him walking in. I don't know. Well, it's January 10th, 2019. We have finally got some actual winter weather coming in. I um, feel like we basically got robbed of a late season because it's been 75 degrees of raining every day for about a month. But um, I'm hoping this cold weather will have some big bucks on their feet. There's a, uh, a decent 11 pointer in here and he's been around all year and as the season's gone on, he's been looking better and better. So. Uh, I'm gonna ease in here and see if I can see him. Uh, he's been showing up at night, really. I mean, really no daytime pictures of him, but I'm hoping this cold weather uh, have him moving early. So we'll see, could be a good evening. Um, got like three days left and make something happen. The last week of season's actually been my best time. Um, two out of the past three years, I've killed a buck the last week and the other year I'd already tagged out, so. It's nerve-wracking cutting it this close, but it might pay off. We'll see. And that was the 16 pointer I've been hunting all year. Lost his antlers early December, and in the last week I've seen him three times.
Oh, he's down. Oh, man. Holy crap, he's down. Man, I just killed a big old Evan Porter. <sighs> Had three days left in season. I thought I was going to go home empty handed, son. Yes! Oh, he's down right there. I just nailed a freaking giant 11. Oh, praise the Lord. Man, that deer. He stood on the edge of my little opening. I couldn't tell you how long, man. <sighs> yes. Oh, let's walk over here and look at him. Oh my God, he's down right here. Double throat patch and everything. <sighs> he's right here. He's down right here. Oh man. Look at that deer right there. Holy crap. Look at that deer right there, son. Oh, praise the Lord. Man, what a deer. Hey, holy crap. Oh my goodness. I can live with that. Oh man. <laughs> yes! I, I tell people, man, late season, people just don't understand. I was getting kind of worried because it was getting down to the wire, but year after year, this last week of season, man, they these big bucks just get on their feet. And I mean, I still got 30 minutes of daylight. He wasn't sure about coming in. He stayed here and stared at these does. Woo, praise the Lord, son. Woo! Man! Three days of season left, and I made it happen. Thank you, Jesus. Man, I was so worried it wasn't going to play out for me this year, but the mass, man, the mass on this side is unbelievable. Freaking stud 11 pointer. Guess I'm gonna get back to the truck and see about getting this joker out of here. <sighs> yes! I guess I'm gonna head to the house and grab my four wheeler and come back. <sighs> Son, look at that beautiful sunset. Man, I was worried it wasn't gonna happen for me. Yes! Hey, what's up? I did. Which one? Eleven pointer. Oh, nice. Yeah, buddy. You sound so enthusiastic. I'm so happy for you. Oh man. You're gonna win an Oscar for that. <laughs> How far was shot? About 70, 75 yards. I think he was on the way to the court. No, he was standing at it. I was sitting on the ground. Really? Yeah. He popped his head in one time, and I started shaking violently, and then he backed up, and I thought he was gone. I seen him turn. He, like, made a big loop and came in from the other side, and he was facing me, and I put it right on his chest, and boom, flop. What you want me to do? If you want to come with me, I'm headed to the house now to grab my four-wheeler. Why do you need the four-wheeler? Like, how far up the road is he? Probably half a mile. with him can't really beat that for a buzzer beater especially he was showing up in daylight all both season and i was kind of chasing another deer and wasn't sure if i wanted to kill him or not and then he broke his ear and i just you know when he did that i figured i better call him out of the herd 
got him coming into a corn pile about 30 minutes before dark and that was all she wrote so he's an 11 got this little kicker right here in between the g2 and g3 thing's sweet i think he's probably gonna be like my second biggest deer i ain't sure but i don't really care about score too much but uh just happy to take this joker out so i'm gonna get started with the work it's still holding on Oh, right. Georgia boy. Right. We're falling on a budget. Yeah, that's an $800 crazy with. Hopefully, it's going to be a good test if yeah. it's about to shed or not. There he goes. Not bad for two old ball tires, huh? It works. I done got where I don't even wash the blood off the tailgate no more. I was gonna say, it's kind of hard to read your tag number. That's what the cop in Kansas told me too. 